comes the axe. Prove yourself. I think attack damage range is a reasonable term. They're actually going to put the alchemist in the safe lane against the specter, which is definitely a less bad lane for oh there is like a lot of mind game here the Sunkist is getting bodied by Ix Mike five I think attack damage range is a reasonable term they're actually gonna put the alchemist in the safe lane against the specter which is definitely a less bad lane for oh there is like a lot of mind game here the Sunkist is getting bodied by Ix Mike a lot of experience and because acid spray pushes the wave really quickly so you're always uh Oh, jeez, I'm sorry, guys. So you're always going to be... Makes him lose effectiveness. Lucium will soul rip himself. Decay, looking for it. Lands it onto two. Taking a lot of damage, and with another Swing Blast, will go down. Sunkiss coming in from... And I was up against a... Okay, well, this Clinks is just going to get annihilated. Uh, Star Storm, a couple more right clicks. There you go. Playing up against a Luna. Playing up against an Ursa. So whenever I ruptured any of them, I would just be like, okay, I'm going to kill them. I'm like, wait, I can't kill them because they're just going to kill me if I get close. Feels pretty bad, man, and you know what else feels bad? Getting just run down by an angry bear. To get too close, Brax is being left behind by the rest of his team, however, and he will eventually go down here. Not without putting a lot of damage to the Spectre, but that's still a real presence to be felt. Had a decent time, and wow, actually this Clinks had an absolutely miserable time. Looking at his CS now, I, I knew it wasn't a great lane for him, but I assumed it was a better lane than that. Sunkist really wants that tombstone, but Nushim, oh, he's getting body blocked by his own creeps, and he doesn't have any more true sight in the area, and they are killing everyone else. The sentry is going to get, oh, it's nice, Sprout, completely blocking him out. They'll miss the arrow, but with the right-click damage of this Marana, it doesn't matter. She is just dishing, and with another leap, another Star Storm, is that lethal damage? It's going to be close. They got her, too. That's going to be an easy two-kill on the top. Jeez, this is only 11 minutes in. This Marana is fat as hell, and Nushim trying to hold his ground. Oh, the TP Sprout! Okay, they forced the Haunted. That's going to get them in to get the kill. The Dagger is going to split the wickets, and looks like BTY trying to pick a fight with IX Mike. Costa will get Overgrowth, but another nice defensive Sprout from IX Mike, putting up some Treants. But now here comes ZR, and man oh man, is he pissed and fast. Will take down IX Mike. He will lose a lot to be able to take him down. And they found him, and Living Armor won't last long against the Treants, and they got him. Well, he gets out of this, though, because Moran is on, his, on her tail now. And there is no... Oh, found him. It was close. There's no Embrace, there's no TP. Brax, though, is being shot down in Rage. Now used, but the Overgrowth. And now the Clink's Arrows. And cutting off Skurskur Arrow. Whoa, that was nowhere close. Haunt is out now, and BTY is hunting for Costa, but the Starstorm will do a lot of damage. Now they're going to back off and defend their Marana. Team Team moving pretty well, but they are getting chipped down slowly but surely. Sprout to wall off one side as they do take down Matt on the other. Use that Blink Dagger for the Blink Earth Shock if that's going to happen. Oh, Nushum, not like this. Stick charges, Decay, Dagger will kill him? Yeah, they got him things in fights they're not even maxed out this is a very interesting bloodseeker build going for spirit vessel like clearly he's saying clinks you're gonna do the damage specter you're gonna do the damage but right now honestly because they don't have much farm nobody's doing the damage so uh yeah because you get 32 from the big golem and they split and then each small one gives you another 32 oh poor winter wyvern <laughs> yeah, this Mara Brax, he is daggered, and he knows he's daggered. He's going to jump in towards the Bloodseeker. Not enough damage, though. Gets cursed, and he'll actually have Ix Mike attacking into him as well. Brax taking a lot of damage, but he does have the double life. That's kind of what the Aegis is for. That's why he's so boldly moving up there. Sunkiss will get dusted, and Sunkiss should be the first to fall. Up towards the top side of the fight, Ix Mike will get ruptured, but that's okay. He's just a support. In the meantime, Ursa looking for a target. Can't quite catch up to him, but here comes Roya. Right on top of the Winter Wyvern, brings him down an instant, and now on top of this Clinks. Arrow to connect. But there's no true sight. Oh, no, there is true sight because Ix Mike buys back with the dust. Great play from that nature's prophet. He's fine. Okay, maybe you should mind him just a little bit. Arrow. That looked like it would have went through, but he's just sitting on him with the radiance and the acid. <laughs> Vision coverage from the dire has been really, really good. 
So to that, I'm impressed. It's like IX Mike will get spotted out by a Spectre and immediately dropped. Control they have. Oh, they're just gonna dust him. All right, Sunkissed. You had a good run, but uh, it ain't gonna happen. In the meantime, ZR getting messed up by Roya. And the Radiance, tick, tick, ticking him down. Another concoction, he's cornered by Alchemists. And Roya will get a solo kill for himself. This, of course, is gonna guarantee this bottom tier two tower. And, oh, they saw the Winter Wyvern. Chappy strat don't work all the time. And it's gonna be another kill.